Welcome back to Weather Nation this morning. Of course, we're keeping you updated on all things Maria. We are very close to the system making landfall in Puerto Rico, and we wanted to chat with the National Weather Service in San Juan. On the phone right now is a meteorologist there in the National Weather Service, Gabriel Lejero. And uh, we're talking to you this morning. Tell us about what you're seeing, how conditions have really gone downhill in the last couple of hours. Um, well, we have seen um, strong, sustained tropical storm force winds. We've seen a lot of stations, especially across the eastern half of Puerto Rico, um, reporting over 70 mile per hour wind gust. Um, as of right now, the center of this, um, the eye of, of Hurricane Maria, um, during the next couple of hours, is going to make landfall in the southeastern um, municipalities of, of Puerto Rico. So. We expect that the winds are going to continue to um, increment as this um, eye of this hurricane continues to approach. So we're going to be seeing widespread um, hurricane force winds um, across um, Puerto Rico um, during the next several hours as this center of this storm continues to make landfall. Now, uh, we've been watching the system uh, very closely over the last couple of days, as well as you have, obviously. Now, uh, the strength of the storm at 160 miles per hour, 165. Uh, looking at the radar over the last several hours, it looks like it just went through an eyewall replacement cycle. Uh, do we think that that's going to change the impacts at all uh, as we uh, see the system move on shore? At this point, no, because um, there's, I mean, it could weaken a little bit, but that's just not going to make a difference because if there's going to be some weakening, um, you may, it's going only going to be a 5 to 10 mile difference at this point, and, and really that's not a big difference, and the impacts are just going to be potentially um, catastrophic. You know, what kind of impacts are we talking here as far well as storm surge, rainfall amounts? I also want uh, the, the, you to mention. The issue is going to be the uh, with the extreme winds, the other issue is rainfall. In fact, we have seen in, e in portions of eastern Puerto Rico already reported um, five to seven inches so far. And we, we haven't even been in the worst part of the storm yet. Uh, we have seen a lot of rivers across the eastern portions of Puerto Rico um, rise fast. In fact, there's been a lot of um, rivers going out of its of its banks, and and we may be seeing on um, record to major to record flood stage across a lot of these rivers because the rainfall is just going to continue for the next several hours. It is going to be uh, just really detrimental now. Uh, just with a, about a minute left, I want you to give out the last word. We have a lot of viewership down across Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands. What is the final say that you want everybody to know as the system starts to make landfall? Well, um, the public um, people need to start taking cover in, in their safe shelter. They, if, they, if the winds start to pick up substantially, if there's, if there's hurricane force winds, they need to move into like an interior room and just ride out the storm because it's very dangerous to be near windows because there can be some damage. So it's best to just stay inside an interior room. And another thing is to not panic. That's, that's a big ish. That's a big thing that people should not um, panic because if we get into people um, panicking, then um, people can make wrong decisions that may um, be a risk t to life. So, um, the situation is very serious. We haven't seen, uh, this is a, a historic hurricane um, impacting Puerto Rico. We haven't seen a system like this in nearly 90 years, with the last one being in 1928 with, with Hurricane San Felipe. That was also a Category 5 hurricane. And that one, obviously, uh, a lot of people don't even remember as of this point since it was almost a century ago. Uh, again, that was Gabriel Lajero, a meteorologist at the National Weather Service in San Juan. Thank you so much for chatting with us. I hope you stay safe and we'll stay in contact with you throughout the morning as best as we can. Uh, we have been bringing you the very latest on Hurricane Maria, now about to make landfall uh, on the island of Puerto Rico within the next about hour or so. The island of Vieques has seen already the outer eye wall just completely hammering the system. and, and uh, we, and completely hammering that island we were just hearing from the National Weather Service saying, please stay calm. Uh, this is going to be a very, a very serious storm, a deadly storm at times. Uh, we've already seen that, and it's only going to get worse from this point out for the eastern side of Puerto Rico. Make sure you stay with us. We have more of your live continuing coverage right here on Weather Nation.